Hi, thank you for clicking on my video. I am Beth Ann of Beth Ann Stamps, and this week we are looking at Watercolor World. This is a distinctive stamp, a background stamp. It's on a large size. <laughs> now, isn't this awful? There it is. I'm like, what did I do with it? I just started. This is the stamp. So this is the one we're going to be working with, and I'm going to bring in some other stamps to use as for the sentiments. So the first card we're going to do today is this one. It's on the pastel side, which you know if you've watched some of my videos, I really enjoy the pastel genre of colors. And for this one, I brought in the Alphabet Alamo dies. I just love how these cut out. And then on the inside, because we're looking at the world map, I brought in Enjoy the Rhythm and You Rock My World and a little bit here. So let me pull in the kit for this one. So we are starting with a five and a half by eight and a half scored at that four and a quarter. I've already stamped to the inside You Rock My World and part of the map here. And then I have a piece of um, DSP. This is from the one that was in the celebrations. Uh, I want to say Dandy Designs, I think. So this is Calypso Coral. That's going to be our first layer. Then this one is the basic white. It's five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And remember, all the dimensions will be linked in the coordinating blog below, so you don't have to try to remember those. But to stamp this one, I want to use the baby white method. You can see I've already been using some, so I've saved these. So I'm just going to re-ink this. Um, we're going to put some Coastal Cabana in here in different spots. It can go over some of the other colors. We have some So Saffron to bring in some yellows. And then we have some purple, some Highland Heather. Trying to get it where it was before. It'll absorb in. Here's some Parakeet Party. Is this greens? we got here polished pink throw some of that in there hopefully I'm getting it everywhere we want it to be and then some mango melody get some nice orange in here so that's had some time to absorb in there let's see what we can do now we're just going to put our stamp in here and let it pick up some of those colors. We can see that it's on some of it. All right, looks pretty wet. And we're just gonna line that up, push it down. Give it a minute to absorb. There we go. Some of these, I think because I've used them, it may have a little bit of uh, a muddled look, but I sort of like it. Could be different countries, could be the desert in there. So I'm gonna leave it. Let me clean my stamp off. We're gonna use that. Okay. And then what I did for these, I took a piece of black cardstock and put one of the adhesive sheets on the back to make it sticker paper. And then I cut out my letters for hello. And as most of you know, if you've seen my videos, um, I also quilt, so I have some quilt rollers here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna line this roller up at about an inch and a quarter from the bottom and then use this to line up my letters. I have to see how much space 
on each side. So I'm just gonna, gonna lay them out here at first. So I think, I have an, an inch and an eighth. So I'm gonna move these in a little. I think that looks good. So we're just gonna peel these. Probably need something to, besides my finger now. There we go. Well, geez. There we go. I really like these alphabet letters. I like the ones we had years ago where you could do like the eclipse cards, I think we called them. So it helps to use that sticky paper rather than trying to glue these with how tiny they are. There we go. You could also just use a stamp with a memento black ink on top of this because it is on that white background with those pastel colors. I keep moving my ruler. There we go. And one more. And you could also, if you wanted more dimension, just cut out extra ones of these and layer in them up, and that would give you some dimension. But there's the hello. So we're going to put this on top of the DSP layer that's cut a little bigger. Okay. Give it that little bit of blue back there to pop it off the background. Glue this straight down. All right. And then I'm just going to bring in some of the black dots that we have. Find my pick a tool. And I'm going to start with a little dot. And just put them across the bottom here. And then end up with one of these bigger ones. There we go. And that's our first card. So hello, you rock my world. I just thought that was very fitting for this stamp set. Okay. Okay, let's look at our second card we're gonna make this evening, still using the same stamp, Oni, and this time I'm still bringing in Enjoy the Rhythm, and we're going to use Happy Birthday on the front, and then on the inside is You Rock My World. And now this is a 6x6 six six card, and we're going to go ahead and make the envelope with it. So, here we go. We are going to start with a 12x12 12 12 sheet of white paper. We're going to score that at, well, we cut it at six inches, score it at six inches. And then on the inside here, um, I cut a piece of, I think this was five and a half in the black, and then five and a quarter inch square for the inside. And I did the same thing. I stamped part of the world in here. You rock my world. Then here, I have a piece of basic black and I'm cutting that six by six because I want that to go and cover the complete front of my card. We just didn't have any um, 12 by 12 black. So that's why I did the white card base and then covering the front in black because I want this dandy DSP to pop off of that black. So five and a half inch square, five and a quarter inch square. 
Again, these will all be in, linked in the description below. So I'm gonna, be, <coughs> excuse me, I apologize. I'm gonna bring in some Calypso Coral to stamp our world this time to match this um, DSP in the background. So I'm just gonna center that. Again, let it absorb the ink. There we go. And this is a distinctive stamp. So you'll see that it'll shade. Let me clean it off, otherwise I know I will sit something on it. And then I do have Happy Birthday and we are going to stamp that in the Memento Black. I'm just gonna put it down here in the corner. All right, so now we will glue this down. Oop, what did I get on there? Never fails, I probably have ink on my hands, right? Catch that real quick. There we go, mono sand erasers. Um, you can't get them from Stampin' Up, but you can get them on Amazon. They are great, especially when you have inky fingers. There we go. this down. I'm just going to center that. Now, of course, we always have the problem, right, of an envelope for the bigger cards, and they do cost a little more to ship. But if you're sending it to somebody special or you could be handling to them the extra postage, um, may not be that big of a deal. Let me, looking for the Picatol, here it is. I'm gonna put a couple small ones on the side here, staying with that black dots, embellishments. Now, we need to create an envelope for this. And I found, I don't know the person's name, but I did see it on YouTube and wanted to share it with you. To make your own, if you don't have a punch board, which I've used in the past, you measure your card and you wanna measure it diagonally. So I'm just gonna take my one inch line there, put it up to here. So this is eight and a half inches. So you wanna cut a piece, you wanna add an inch to that and cut a piece of paper at nine and a half inches square to fit this six inch card. And then what you're going to do is put it on point and you're gonna lay your card in the middle of it and center it as best as you can, All right? So I think that looks pretty good right there. And then we'll start, we'll fold up the bottom. Once you have that there, slide your card out of the way and you can crease that. I'm gonna bring this back in, and then I'm gonna do the same thing here, and I'm gonna do it here. Just sort of press that, and then also the top down. And then I can take it out of here, fold that up, and burnish all of those edges. So now, you can decide how you want to put your card together if you want these inside. Put those down first. I put a little bit of glue right here. If you're using glue instead of tape, um, you want to let it dry so when you put your card in it doesn't get stuck on any wet, any wet glue. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there. And that's our card. And then if you're giving a set of cards to someone, you would wanna put tear and tape here. So when they put the card in to seal it, they can remove some of that tear and tape. And then your card slides right in there. So that's how to make an envelope. You just measure on the diagonal and then for that, cut that out. So I just... 
So I just have one more card to share with you. I'm not going to make it. This was another one done the same way. Um, this is uh, Smoky Slate, Soft Sea Foam, Pacific Point, and we did that with Versamark and Copper Embossing Powder. And then with Stays on Black Ink stamped on the, the vellum now that comes, it has designs on it. The name of it has totally slipped my mind, but it's a vellum. And then I used the brushed metallic um, embellishments and this is the copper. And so we put that in, you make a difference every day. I left the inside blank because I could put anything in there of why you make a difference every day in my world when I send it out. So it could be a birthday, happy birthday, you make a difference every day being part of my world. Uh, thank you. Anything that um, you could think of to send that to somebody. So that's our cards today. This is the one we did with the baby white method. And then this was the six by six with the envelope and then the extra one here. Now this, you make a difference. That came out of Inspired Thoughts, which was in the annual catalog. So in case you were looking for that sentiment. And then of course, in the coordinating blog below, I will make sure that I list all the products that were used in the making of these cards. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I would greatly appreciate it if you would take time to hit that like thumbs up button hit that subscribe button and as always thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my videos i really appreciate it if you have any questions about stamping up or you're in need of a demonstrator please reach out to me i'd be happy to help you with that so thank you for joining me have a great rest of your day and i'll see you next week Bye bye